Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading for March. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record an extended to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you this moment. Now let's start with your reading. First, let's shuffle four times. So, first let's see what is the overall energy. Is the Five of Pentacles. And uh, it means feeling alone, feeling left out in the cold, feeling rejected about this past connection, about this past person that is currently on your mind. Someone may have been ghosted. Now, let's see more details about what may have happened in the past, why it all happened, what were the challenges. There was an immature lover that may have not expressed apologies and also problems with uh, having cooperation in that connection. The friendship was not good. So, I don't know about the love and feelings. It seems like this person was an immature lover and may have not expressed much feelings. So, there may have not been much fr friendship and much love that may have caused all this uh, all these problems and the breakup or the divorce. Now let's see more details about your current energies. You know something about this past person. You know some truth, some clarity. Maybe some of you heard something that you didn't know before or saw something you didn't uh, know before and some of you are putting the blame on yourself about why you continued so long this connection why were you neglecting all those red flags but you still have that attraction for this person now let's see or maybe you know a, a new love interest you may have already met them or you may know soon a new love interest there with the page of wands it may be they may be a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius or they may have those placements in their chart now let's see about what may be affecting you in your subconscious that you are not aware of some of you may be dealing with a scorpio now you think it is over, it ended completely, like that was it, it is a closed chapter now. That's what you may be thinking about this past connection. Now let's see more details, how do you view it? You want to talk or you expect communication from them to happen as soon as possible and you think they will come towards you and talk and message you or tell something with more clarity or you will gain more clarity from this whole situation. Now let's see more details about the focus and hopes and fears. You are at crossroads, you want to be more decisive. You want to make a decision now. And your hope is to be in a partnership. Uh, you want to form a connection with the right person. I see you having feelings and attraction at the same time for this past person. So it seems like you want to be with them. You may know it has ended, what you may be feeling or happening in your subconscious, but you still want to try something new. You may want to try to form a new connection or a new connection may come your way, but you don't like being indecisive about the past when this new person comes or you may have already met them. Now let's see, you want to make a decision about to move forward, maybe even with a new connection, but you still think about this past person. That's what I'm getting here. Now let's see about this person that is currently on your mind, about this past connection. What is their energy? 
They are confused. They think the connection with you was very dramatic, was full of drama. They haven't clarity about what they want to do with that past connection with you. They may feel very, very much in their head, overthinking. For now, they want to remain single from you. But they think a lot about you. And uh, they also think they missed the opportunity there. They have missed a great opportunity uh, to be with you. So they may be thinking you moved away. Now let's see more details. Yes, they are trying so hard to give up. Let's see, will they take any actions? This person is for commitment now. They want something serious. Let's see more details about will they take any actions. In fact, I see them mostly focused in their work, being too much confused as well. They want something stable, but at the same time they think it will not be stable if it was given the chance because they see it very conflictual as a connection. So they are trying so hard to move away. But they haven't made the decision yet. So um, I will continue this reading for more details in the extended where I want to view. How does your person feel now? How do they view you now? What are their intentions and the energies of the connection? If you want to watch the extended, of this video you can find it now in the description box below. See you the next reading and bye for now.